Lead off base runner for Portland. Here's York. And the first pitch. That's a line shot deep left field. Mungia gives it a look, but that one is gone. And Nick York gets the Sea Dogs on the board. A two run homer. That is his 10th home run this season. And it's now a 5 2 game. 386 foot shot. That was an all speed pitch to the inside corner, and York turned and drove it out of the ballpark. Jimenez checks the runner at first in. Ross and comes home one two and strikes out Rosario. There's one gone. Good pitch there. Didn't give in. Two pitch. Got him swinging. So Jimenez bounces back. The 0 2 to Gary. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that's out number two on strikeout number three for Jimenez. The 1 2 to Sheffield with the runners starting and stopping. Doesn't matter. Swing and a miss. Four strikeouts for Jimenez. The weight dropped below 500, 14 and 15. And a swing and a miss. Jimenez. And that's strikeout number five. Colonels got together for the 2013 season. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Jimenez now with six strikeouts in three and a third innings. Swing and a miss, strike three. Seven strikeouts for Jimenez. You know, just figuring out how to you know, eventually become a big leaguer. Eight strikeouts now for Jimenez as he gets Miller on three pitches. And Jimenez got him swinging. Nine strikeouts for Jimenez. The 0 2. Got him swinging, and that's a 10 game strikeout for Edwin Jimenez. The set, and here is the 2-2, and it's hit high in the air. Out in this right center field, retreating his stranger. He makes the catch, tagging his toe stop. It's Fox Parkley. He scores, and the ball game is over. Jacob Young on the 2-2 pitch. Hits the sacrifice fly to drive in Lucius Fox with the game winner. Last of the third, Jace Young leads off. Went down on strikes his first time up. Will Dion gets back to work. This one drilled out to right field, and Drago goes back, looks up, that ball's crushed and gone. Touch of all time, Jace Young. His second home run of the week, and Erie extends the lead, 3-0 here in the third. Kind of hooked a breaking ball towards the outer part of the plate, and hit a bullet. Drives one out to right field. He crushed it, and he's got a two-homer day. Jace Young, homered in the third, homers in the seventh. Two-run shot off Pickman. Seawolves extend their lead. It's 6-1, 416 feet away. And the pitch from Myers he is golfed out to right center. There it goes. The slump for a run is gone, as is that 3-2 pitch. 19 for Aranda, four of the Bulls. Well, Aranda worked around to get a count that he could handle with sitting fastball middle in as Myers was trying to work him away, away, away. Myers makes the mistake in, Aranda doesn't miss it and makes it pay. He's been so confident, if it's not his pitch, he's been taking it. And then when he gets it, he doesn't miss it. And a few others are untouchable. Why won't they get rid of him? Because of swings like that. He drives one off the video board. A home run for Kerstan. Wow. That ball was halfway up the video board. It, seventh home run for Heston Kerstan. That's that kind of talent that is going to have Kerstan in the big leagues before long. And he's only been playing professionally in about 13 months. Pitch home, line into left center. Base hit. Heading for third is Norby. He will turn and stop as the relay comes home. That pitch from Claudio into right field for a base hit. Trying for third is Norby. And the throw comes into second. Base hit by Kerstad. It's a three-hit game for Heston Kerstad. 
Swing and a ground ball. Stabbed by the first baseman, Delo Nade. Throw to the plate. Castillo is out, and it's a double play to end the inning. That has been the story tonight for the River Dogs. Nothing has gone their way. They had the time run at third with just one out. Kitty hit a rocket to first. Delonay went to the ground, stabbed it, stepped on the base, and had plenty of time to throw home to end the inning. 1-0 pitch, swung on and yanked down the third baseline. Diving catch by Jack Lopez at the hot corner for the first down at the bottom of the eighth. Wow. Haggerty hooked this down the line, and Lopez laid out in a dive and made the catch. 2-1 is belted out to center, drifting back. Abens toward the track. We are tied at 14. Ryan Bliss, what a time for your first at Triple-A. Look at this swing, so level, right center field. That is a poke. 106 off the bat, 454. 2-2, two -two, he goes to the curve, and Bush towers it to right. Drifting back at the track is Fletch, and he'll watch it go into the Aces' bullpen. It's a solo shot for Michael Bush, his 17th of the year, and the Dodgers have a 1-0 lead. A one-out bomb from Michael Bush. This was hit a mile in the air. Bush waits on the 0-2. Here it comes. Belt into deep center. This is trouble. Way back for Rosa. He's looking up, and it's gone over the batter's eye. Michael Bush is 18th of the year, and it's one that hurts the Aces. It's 14-11, two-run shot for the Dodgers in the top of the 10. He got a cutter at 92 down the middle. And Michael Bush did not miss it. Five extra base hits in his last 14 coming into today. Flowed high and deep to right field, going back on at his doll toward the wall. It's gone. Another opposite field homer for English, number 11. This one drives in two. And the Aces have cut the deficit to four at seven to three. Payoff pitch, runners go. English right side, base hit past Vargas. Castillo flies around third, he'll score. And it's an RBI knock. Have a day, Tristan English. A homer, now an RBI single. It's 10 to 6. Nice. Tristan in the left. We're tied at 10. And into the corner. The Aces have more. Here comes Evans. The throw. In time. They got him. Well, we tied it for you. <laughs> Take it. <laughs>